Sick. Put your seatbelt on, mate. Strap yourself in. Let's talk about the Eagles. Your boys. How do we fix the West Coast Eagles, mate? Give me your argument, because I've got a few ideas. Can I say hand grenade? <laughs> you can, because oh, I kind of agree with that. Oh, Just yeah. uh, well, blow it up, start again, you reckon? I've got sympathy because of the injuries. You, you don't, you can't plan for that. Uh, here we yep. go, here we go with no, the no, violin. No, no, for no, the no, West no what Coast. I'm saying <laughs> is, but when you go through a list build, whether you go to the draft or you go to trade and, and, and swap around your picks, well then that, that's on you then. The old boys won't be able to carry the load with these, all these, all of a sudden they get injured that all these young kids come on and then they can't carry alone. So it becomes this nasty cycle of injury after injury after injury. It's an absolute... Um, it's a shamozzle yes. moment. And I tell you what the problem is, you've been the kings of Western Australia far too long. We've been pumping around Western <laughs> Australia. Look at us going to the beach and those Easterners have got COVID and they're oh, stuck oh, inside. Yeah. Now I reckon yeah. this is how you fix it. You've got to come and live in Victoria during winter. And uh, yeah, <laughs> fly home and play. Do something hard. Oh, that, right. It's easy over there on those beaches in Cottesloe. Yeah. And have you tried? Going, have you yeah. tried flying three hours and then five hours back uh, after a game every second week? Always use that argument. You get your you get your frequent fly points and you bugger off to Bali halfway through the year for free. <laughs> that's what you blokes do over there. Come and do something hard. I reckon that's how you're going to fix it. Cold. You're living it easy over there. What do you mean cold, mate? You spend your life in a cafe. If it's all coffee culture over here, <laughs> no, you go out and nice train for ninety coffees. minutes. Yeah, exactly. Come and sit by the fire and have some coffees. And do you agree with me that there is this? notion over here on the east that the Western Australian, the Eagles, not so much Fremantle, but the Eagles are the, the kings of Perth and they strut around the town. And now things have got a little bit hard and they're like, we don't know what to do. Uh, well, I, well, I suggest they do know what to do. They just I'm don't... I'm going to Perth, by no, the no, way, no. after people see this. <laughs> well, I would say, I mean, in all due respect to Simo, as I said, you've heard that saying about making strawberry jam out of rusty nails right now because he's got... <laughs> Of his senior players, only a, probably even a third of those boys are out playing. The, the better two thirds are probably sitting in the, on the wrong side of the fence. You reckon it's bad now, mate? Wait until next year. Really? Like, seriously? Yeah. Well, because some of those senior boys are going to have to retire. Have to retire. Because they're injured. Like yeah. Hearn, Shannon Hearn, I mean, he's holding up. I mean, of all the ones, he should actually go around again, I reckon. But I don't think his body's going to hold it, hold it together enough. Yeah. I mean, Nick Nat, he spends more time off the ground than he does on. Shoey's surely, the same. Surely he's got to go. He's yeah, just well, that's what I'm saying. He's so a list clogger. Yeah, we used to call yeah, him yeah, <laughs> the Dutch yeah, of clogs. Yeah, so. but, but who's going to take this spot? Like 20, 20, uh, 20 gamers, so that's it's what I'm saying, mate. Worse. So they're going to go back another step but, next but year. Why don't you do, why don't the West Coast Eagles, I know you're going to disagree with this, but go and get some good players from the league, like Barassi did when he took over what, North the 1980s, Melbourne. North Melbourne. 1980s, mate. Well, they they won a premiership. Oh, gave yeah, the yeah. North Melbourne their first premiership. Oh, yeah. They went and stole all these great players. Yeah, exactly. Stole them. Still brown players. Mate, the last brown paper bag was getting you out of Tasmania to go and play for Melbourne, mate. <laughs> Seriously. You, know? mate, no, no, you can't no. do that these days. No, no, you know? I got it. That was, Nita got all the money and, there, and, mate. Yeah, and if you have to do that, again, you lose all those draft picks. And that, they need to it's actually... A, it's a careful balance, yeah. I know. But, well, that's it. I'm, they need to go to the draft and take a step back and just cop their whack yep. and then get these kids. And Because someone like... So it's a barass right now. I mean, you look at that sort of age, age demographic between 23 and 25, mate. They've only got about six or seven of those, but they need to keep those. One's yeah. over that. Yeah. Either if they no. still want to play, play somewhere else, get some draft picks, get no. some currency for them. I'm going to let you win this argument, mate. It doesn't matter. I'm just loving the fact the West Coast Eagles oh, yeah, no. suck. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you would.